Hey, Mark Nelson here. I want to share with you my moment of fire. It actually happened when I was, I'm guessing I was around 25 years old, a long time ago. But it started out before that. I grew up in a small town in northwestern Wisconsin called Cumberland, Wisconsin. Small town, about 1,800 people. The high school was less than 400 people. There was a time period, though, from 1965 to 1972. We were a basketball hotbed. One of the best teams in the state of Wisconsin. In 1965, my brother's team went to state. Took third. Their best player ended up going to the Big Ten School in Madison and actually got drafted by the Milwaukee Bucks. But it was during that tournament we started hearing from people in our town that my team was going to be the next one to go to state. And we were just an unbelievable basketball team. From 1970 to 72, I had to think of the days. <laughs> my sophomore, junior, and senior, we went to the game before state, called a sectional final. When we were sophomores, we went and got beat by a team way better than us. We were probably a little young. Our, our next year, we actually went to state and played well, but didn't do very well, if that makes sense. And our senior year, we went to that last game of four state and got beat by three. And I played terrible. And I still remember it, how the feeling was leaving that court for the last time in high school. Now, I too went on to play college basketball and very fortunate. I was a very blessed athlete and it really enjoyed a lot of different sports, and I was good at, at a lot of them. In my career, what I remember, though, is I had times that I could either make a play, either make a basket, make a play, or something that would win a game, and it just never happened. Never happened. And I started doubting myself. And to see what happened was growing up, I had a sibling that always kept telling me that I wasn't Good enough. But who do you think I was that was going to do this? I was, he'd make fun of me, make me laugh at me. And it kept digging at my psyche and psyche. But anyway, in, after college, a lot of my friends and myself, what we do is we get together, kids from college and people I knew growing up, the really good basketball players, we'd go around and play in tournaments, really high tournaments. And we did pretty well. Well, there's this one tournament that we made it to the championship game, playing a team that was better than we were. We probably shouldn't have been in the game with them. Well, three seconds left, we were down by one. The ball underneath our basket, our ball. And we set up play to go to our post player. It was unstinking believable. Well, of course, they didn't let him get the ball. And I snuck out way out to the left-hand corner. And the situation was I had a time to catch it and shoot, that was it. And when that ball came, I caught it, I shot, and as soon as it left my hand, I knew it was in. It was nothing but net. See, I saw that shot in my eyes forever. Since I was a little kid, all I remember is when that ball went through the net, I shot my arms up, the defender was right in front of me, and at that moment, all those thoughts of me not good enough were gone. Because I did it. I remember looking at all my friends and we're laughing and just cheering each other on because it was such an amazing feat because we really shouldn't have beaten that team. But inside my heart, it just changed me because I knew if I made a commitment, if I would put it in my mind, and if I would work to a goal, I could accomplish anything. So in times of my doubt, I raised my hands. And I remember that feeling. And I remember how powerful I felt. I know you have your very own Miracle on Fire. What is your miracle on fire? Leave me, a, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you believe your, think back in your time, the time that you 
did something that was such a great accomplishment. It just changed everything how you thought about yourself, how people thought about you. Just let me know what is your miracle on fire. You all take care. Bye.